In today's world, the rule of science and technology is indispensable. We use this in every aspect of our lives. They provide solutions to difficult problems that can lead to the growth of our country. Science explains how the world works while technology designs and creates objects that meets our needs, which makes our lives easier and more efficient. From communication technology, that is very helpful in the field of education and business. To electrical technology. Energy technology, such as solar panels, wind turbines, and hydroelectric power. We also have mechanical technology like manufacturing, which produce goods faster and in a more cost-effective manner. Another one is medical technology that helps improve people's quality of life in a number of ways. Agriculture technology which greatly leveraged the Philippines agricultural sector's growth and development. And lastly, transportation technology that makes traveling easier, whether it's by land or water. Every aspect of our lives depends on science and technology, that it is nearly impossible to live without them. Although it is a solution enabler, it can also be part of the problem. It can be a boon or bane to the society and environment. So it is up to us humans and how we utilize these technologies and mitigate environment and societal consequences. In this episode, we will share with you the essential impacts of science and technology from various individuals and in every different fields in our society for us to be aware, motivated, and responsible human beings. One of the oldest occupations in history, agriculture has benefited much from innovation throughout the years. Since then, science has played a significant role in agricultural innovation and quality assurance. The production of rice is one of the agricultural industries that we are highlighting today. We are going to ask farmers what differences they see between the machinery of the past and present as well as how science and technology assist them in their farming. Ako si Sibere Guerrilla, 63 anos, usa ako kumakumuha sa road sa 50 ka tuig. 13 anos pa lang ako, nagsugod na ako sa pagkuha kay mga okini pang nabuhian sa among pamilya. Una, kay Dugay man ang kukuha kung may mga kinariya, karun mo sa dali, kay na may mga kukuha kinariya. Kung wala yung medisina, wala yung wala, wala yung mga kuhan. Dili mo kung mga mananap, dili mga matay. Maagay na na yung mga medisina. The roles of science and technology to agriculture is it provides enhancement and advancement to all the sectors of agriculture, in particular production, preparation, propagation, and development as a whole. Dako ka ni siya grolyo sa agriculture ni science and in technology kay mao ka ni ang gia o mga pamaagi na ang mga farmers makapalambo sa ila o makapagaan sa ilang pagtikad sa panguma. What are the positive impact of science and technology in the agriculture? Uh, it advances the agriculture and machinery, expanding the scales, speed, and productivity of farm equipment, which lead to more efficient cultivation, 
improve production in agriculture products. Ako kay ni siya gimpa kay nga no, kung ang mga farmers sa kabaluna sa bagong sayas o tutulidiha sa agrikultura, uh, mutultul kini sa maayong maayong pag-atiman o pag-amuma sa yuta, kung diin kung ni mamaayo ka ni pag-atiman, diin maka-harvest sila o uh, ma-develop o mapataas ang ilang production. Ako si Pastora Bernados, uh, mag-uma dili sa Libwa. Ah, uh, ang kalahian sa una ug karon, ang nindot karon kay daghan ang pamaagi sa atin ni Kulidia nga para sa mga pangkuma. Ikaduha sa nanay karon ang mga equipment para na mga bawbao, para na mga tracer, para anang na ay nanay pwede magtanom ka nga ku ana makina nang gamiton. Um, Uban pa nga karon, ang karon og sa unang panahon mas nindot karon kay daghan ang abot karon sa unang panahon. About 80% of Filipinos use rice as their primary diet, making it a significant component of consumer baskets. As a single most significant crop in the Philippine agriculture, it provides a significant portion of the country's farmers' revenue. In our country, Rice continues to be the agricultural product with the greatest political and economic significance. And thanks to technology, we farmers now have the chance to increase our output and provide high-quality rice for every Filipinos. Science and technology do play a significant part in farming and society. The development of machinery and other agricultural tools has a significant impact on the production of rice and other staple foods. However, this innovation should also take into account the environment and the people who are working in their fields to put food on the tables of every household. We should avoid eating more than we can and work to reduce food spoilage. We must take responsibility for maintaining the harmony in our environment. Now in the public service area, we have Azami Mamasa in the barangay and how science and technology help them in day-to-day -day transactions.
Pedro Bibat Jr. for saying yes for this interview. I am very, very thankful that you give me time even though you have a very busy schedule. Hello viewers, I'm Ken J.D. Page and today I am here in a household in Barangay Villarica and together we will unravel the impacts of science and technology in a specific home. Ms. Irish, what is the role of science and technology to the society, particularly for you who lives in a Filipino household? For me, the do check the bank, trails anang appliances and devices na game bento karon na mas kinabuhat na nila para murag mas napadali dyan po nang ato ang kinabuhat sa balay. Kung magdali ka na, ka nang, for example, lakaya toon or on saba or magdali ka, ka nang magluto, na na dyan po ng mga appliances na ibang ibento karon na mapadali sa tuwang life. Na dili, dili ta maglisod, dali na kayo buhat. So, dili pa sa una nga, ka nang naghan pag-process ba nga ginabuhat. Mga mong dugay niya karon kay murag may improve naman ta, dali na nun kaayo para sa tua. What are the impacts of these appliances and devices in your daily life? Can you please elaborate it on each of the appliances and devices that you use in your house? Washing machine kay mas mapadali na lang natong labang atong mga sanina. Kung kung dali ta or kanang dagan taglabhon nun, dili na dili na kayo makapoy atong lawas. Next is a rice cooker. Way compare to sa una nga sa una magaling-haling pa karon murag automatic na jicha like di magsaksak na lang ka. Sa electric kettle, linot siya, kay madali rin siya, dili pa sa una nga ka nang maghaling pa ka para makain yung tubig. Ang electric kettle, automatic na na siya, like ka nang magbutang na lang kag tubig, niya isaksak ni mo, luto na lang ni mo mainit. Sa TV, pwede ka makakita sa mga salida nga maka-entertain sa imo or makalingaw, o napod siya ka nang balita nga mag-inform mag sa imo ha kung unsay nahitabo sa, sa Pilipinas or sa tibo kalibutan. Sa computer, pwede na ka dito mag-search or mag-edit sa imong mga video or presentation. Naat na dito o na YouTube dito. Anna, o ka nang, pwede po siya maanuman mo siya files kung need ni mo or kung nakaibuhat nga project or mag-Google Meet mo sa inyong GC. Anna, gamit yun ka yung computer kay Murag Bali. Nana siya tanan dira. Sa cellphone, nindot siya, handi po siya. So, ang cellphone, nadara po ng mga apps nga ka nang napod sa uban. Like, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Messenger, or etc. O, need po din mo ka ng emergency, na po nadara ang message or call. Kanang, nindot po siya dala-dalaon kay ka nang masod siya sa bulsa. O, ka nang, mora po na ang ka nang madali sa mga tao karon In using these appliances, for any instance, how will it affect you and the environment? So, di ba, magkawit mong tag-apply yan sa devices. So, dapat, di ba, mag-consume mo na siya o energy. So, as a human being, maging responsible ta sa mga butang, like, magtipid ta or unsa ba. Like, dili pa sobrahan mag-kanang mag-TV, like, kanang mag-untag, mag-kanang TV niya. Sa hapon, tako na siya kuwa sa kuryente. Di ba, pag cellphone po ta, Hindi ko malowa ito mag-charge. Dapat dili kayo nato ka nang iunay ang cellphone sa kuryente nga mag-charge. Kaya mas muda ko po siya deal niya ka nang sa mga ka nang like mag ano po tao ka nang ka nang kettle god ka nang mag init kag tubig. Dapat dili pero may magsikag init ang tubig ka nang imuhad yun ang isave pero So naman po yung ubandra ka nang mag ano lang tagkahoy or unsam ka nang para makatipid ta kay sa kanang magumingan ng mga butang kay makaangyahang ano lang murag balihina gumiya kay kanang mag ano siya kuryente ba mas muda ko ang mabayad sa kuwante sa mga ng mga butang Can you suggest anything or share some essential tips on how to utilize the appliances and devices in a beneficial way As a student so magpa-remind ko sa uban nga kana mga appliances of devices nga gamiton siya sa tama dili na to siya abusuhon dili na to kanang gamit gamiton lang pirmi ana so dapat mag-isip og tawag taro nga gamiton lang siya sa importante og positive way This is Kenja your household representative thank you and god bless Good day everyone I am Crisol Mirakihano and I am going to interview a store owner and an online seller where science and technology is very useful to them then let's start with Mr. Kihano first. 
So, Mr. Kehano, what do you believe is the rule of science and technology in your business? In this world, the role of science and technology is indispensable. We need science and technology in every sphere of our life, like business. Sa koa, na ako ay sari-sari store. So, gamit kayo ang technology, gaya ng electronic load, gamit ang cellphone. Kini isa siya nga pamaagi, nga makatabang sa customer, nga makakommunicate siya sa iyahang pamilya, or pwede po siya magamit, isa siya ka-access nga maka, uh, kung merong mga pera padala, sa cellphone na ang mga, tra ang mga transaction through reference. Mayan lang nga i-present sa mga uh, tindahan, maagi sa cellphone, makakuha ka na ng pera agad. So, dako kayo siya katabang sa sita, sa tindahan para maka-income ang isa ka sa isa store pamaagi sa kininga technology. Then, what is the impact of it? So, sa technology ka ron, sama sa cellphone, isa siya kasusi para mapaangat ang atong ekonomiya. Isa siya ka pamaagi nga Uh, makatabang sa negosyo sa mga tindahan sama sa kong negosyo nga sa isari store so kung kini ang atong basihan karon sa technology uh, isa gud siya nga susi nga maka paangat sa ato ang kinabuhi kay tungod aning electronics nga process dali lang transaction sama sa online business kung adunay mga transaction ng tindahan sa uban pang mga business na sa tindahan in CC pwede na siya magamit siya na one of order ka lang so delivery ihana ang kuan ang bayad mga tawag na siya cash on delivery so di sa siya nga uh, access nga dili kayo lisod o isa kayo isa nagamit sa ato kasi nakahitabo ng COVID-19 so wala kayo mga uh, kuha nga ikaw mismo ato personal sa sa supermarket paagi lang sa mga kuha nga uh, online so very accessible ang technology nga na sinati na ito karoon Lastly, in your experience, what is the negative and positive impact of science and technology in your business? Ang positive effects sa uh, science and technology, uh, labi sa technology karon, dili kay siya gasto kay sa ton, dili kay siya expensive, madali lang ang mga transaction. Kahit sa lugar, madali. Kahit sa din dito ka sa Samal, ang transaction mo doon sa Manila. So, madali lang ang komunikasyon. Delivery, may delivery ka na sa mga products na in-order mo. So, kanya nagkadali ang uh, transaction. So, gano'n lang. The negative effects, uh, ang... Adverse health effects uh, makadaot sa pud sa ato ang uh, makadaot pud sa ato ang panglawas kung masubra-subra na pud tagtutok sa uh, kining gadget na sa cellphone pero uh, ilim ilimit lang kay mao ginayahan side effects sa atong health nga nang masubrahan na pud og isa pud ka pinaka negative effects sa kuan ang scams ang uh, iskam manggod ka ron si, siguro masinati ang gina nato no, na nadungog po nato na siya nga daghan yun ang nag, na biktima sa mga panluloko sa true cell phone nga uh, ang, ang uban mo to da yun so na biktima yun sila mo na siya ang negative effects po sa kining nga technology Thank you, Mr. Kehano. And now we're going to interview Miss Angelica Moiko, an online seller. So this is Miss Angelica Moiko, and she is an online seller. And my first question is, what is the role of science and technology for your business? Para sa ang science and technology, 
mura siya og kanang bridge sa akong business kay paagi sa technology or social social media mapaabot na ako ang akong business miskanon sa kalayo og ako siyang ma ma-introduce sa uban tao without ay nga dili to dili face to face so my second question is what is the impact of science and technology to your business Uh, honestly, sa ako ang experience, science and technology, ako kayo siya impact sa ako ang business. Kay the first time I post my uh, product, dagan kayo o kanang, dagan kayo ko o mga customer na nainggan nyo sa ako ang product na mupalit. Pinagi sa social media. And that is a good impact in my business. If there is a good impact, there is a negative impact, right? Yes. And what is it? For me, negative impact is the limit sa social media like Facebook. Since nai kanang since ako ang item nga ginabalig ya is um is cigarette. So dili kayo dapat ako limit sa pagpost sa social media kay tungod sa mga tungod kay bawal daghan og bawal mola po na ako napansin nga negative impact sa ako ang business but for uh, but, but in total kay positive jud siya og advantage sa ako ah. so as an online seller what is your advice to the society in using science and technology para sa ako ah uh, Um, advice lang ako sa society nga ganito nagtarong ang technology since it is very useful man jud sa nowadays ganito nagtarong og dili lang abusuhon mo lang thank you miss angelica moiko as what we've heard from our interviewee it is clearly stated that science and technology is very useful in our society right now where you can easily communicate and boost your business through social media. Again, I am Grizalme Arquijano. Thank you for listening. As the world approaches its great changes, science and technology also evolve, causing water transportation to change the life of all the people living in the Likud Island. Science and technology plays a very important role in terms of water transportation in the Likud Island can be considered as a part of their daily lives. The life of every islander is truly incomplete without science and technology. Good day everyone, this is Irish J. Lipamisa and today we are currently at Santa Cruz, Talikud Island.
sa dagat ng mga sa ubos na dagat ng mga isang pusingit ng mga orals na isda tungo sa dalawa na sa ilang pagpangitlo o sa pagitlo na unang uwi na tagas sa pagilang We really can't deny the fact that technology is already a part of our lives. Technology helps us in many ways, in communicating, in transportation, and even in our work. There are advantages and disadvantages when it comes to technology. But one thing is for sure, it will never harm us as long as we use it with moderation.
ma'am. Thank you for this opportunity to have an interview with you. I am April and I will be asking you questions about how science and technology contribute to the healthcare system. Before that, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, April. Good morning. myself first to you. I am Divine Amok and now I am here with someone that who can give answer for my some questions that can relate about science and technology. But before we start, don't forget to watch this video. of science and technology and society. For me, science is a systematic study of structure and allow us to make new ob observation. Pareha karon because of COVID-19, which scientists looking for experiment that can make medicine or vaccine para mapigilan ang cases ng COVID-19 ngayon. And for technology, is a scientist's knowledge for practical purposes like communicating someone with the help of smartphones, fans, microwaves that can be easier and faster. Okay, for the second question. What are the impact of science and technology on human life? 
through science and technology, it is easier for us to communicate with other people around the world. It is also in the field of business because of the transaction and other events are done through computer and enables every people to live an easy and modern life. Okay, for the third question. How does technology affect in our lives, especially in Asia? For me, social media and mobile devices may lead to psychological and physical issues. Maari din siyang makakasira sa paninig at sa kalusugan natin pag hindi mo nababalance ang paggamit nito. Especially sa mga kabataan, nakakasira din ito. Fourth question, how we use technology with the help of environment? Um, we can share other people more knowledge and understanding because of all, as of this moment, we need to share more information. We can also share services that help the environment through social media it becomes more adva advanced and effective, easy to communicate of each other, and we are able to spread awareness of important issues with people beyond our families and friends. And for the last question, para sa imo, we can live without technology? Um, maybe we can survive without technology, but hindi natin may imagine to survive without technology since in today's fast-moving world. Coronavirus pandemic proved it, which the importance of technology in our daily lives. Through technology, we can use it, it to stay connected, work, communicate, and online business. And of course, our learnings through online class that we can basically learn and survive. <laughs> Hi, my friends and individuals. I am Shangi Zalbar Barbas, and today we are going to tackle some topics that are related to science, technology, society, and its integration or connection to education. We all know that education is one of the most important sectors in our society. Its role is to develop individuals which are the students to their fullest potentials in order to attain their goals and their future ambitions and professions. Education helps the people to be more knowledgeable about topics from the different subject areas being taught and discussed. Thus, education helps in shaping our society into a better one for the future generations. Furthermore, education can be achieved more effectively and efficiently with the use of science and technology. The integration of science and technology to education can improve performance in learning and can give assurance that teaching and learning are attainable whenever and wherever the teachers and students are. Now, here are the topics that we should discuss today. Quite a lot, right? But let's dig deep into it. What is the role of science and technology to the society and education? The role of science and technology to the society is to introduce concepts and knowledge which can be used in making different innovations or technologies that can improve people's ways of living. This can also be connected to education because science and technology can be taught through educating the students about newly found knowledge which will be applied in the different areas of life. Also, science and technology can help the teachers through integrating these two to their instructional process which will help the students of the 21st century learn better. For the students' perspective, science and technology can help them access information and learning materials quickly through browsing online portals which will give them convenience. What are the impacts or the pros and cons of science and technology in the educational sector? Let's go to the pros first. Number one, surely 
science and technology excite young students, especially those who are tech savvy. This excitement can increase their motivation to learn and be attentive during their classes. Number two, it prepares them for the future. Since we are in the modern age, we utilize technology every day in whatever we do. If we expose them with knowledge about the different technologies and how to use them, they can function well in their work and workplaces in the future. Number three, it invigorates the student's curiosity and interest. Science and technology can be a great way on investigating the topics that interest the students' young minds. They can watch YouTube videos or read some research-based journals about the topics that invoke their curiosities and help them gain more knowledge about it. And number four, technology can improve the teacher's delivery of the lessons. For sure, when the teachers include videos or educational games to their discussions, it will help gain the student's attention and they can learn more about the lesson. Now, for the cons. Number one, technology causes distractions. Technological advancement in education can be distracting too. Whenever we are at our classes, there are times that we can't resist to look for the notifications on our social media sites or even the messages from our loved ones. Number two, technology can promote isolation and disconnection. When we are flooded with things from the online world, there will be some instances that these things disconnect us from our real-life friends, family, and situations. This can affect the student's social and emotional development. Number three, technology can discourage creativity. Since every technology is programmed now, we can sometimes just answer our assignments and quizzes through browsing the web to search for answers in just a short span of time, which discourages creativity and assessment for one's own capabilities on answering such tasks. Number four, technology can be a lot of work for teachers. Teachers, especially from the older generations, can have a hard time on setting up different technologies inside the classroom. That is why they need to work and learn a lot in order to catch up on what's new for learning. How does the integration of science and technology affect the people and the environment? 1. It saves time and can give convenience. Number 2. If not properly managed well, then it can cause pollution to the environment. Number three, science and technology can help preserve and protect the environment through science investigatory projects or school-based researches, which will be used for such objective. Number four, ICT integration to education can improve learning and teaching. As individuals, both teachers and students, what are the ways on how we can utilize technology in terms of environmental and societal aspect? Number one, for instance, when we do some experiments in a science laboratory, we should dispose the waste carefully and prevent them to be littered anywhere. Number two, when we are finished using the computers inside the computer laboratory, we should switch the computers and the lights off before coming out of the laboratory. Number three, after we use the bathroom, we should ensure that the faucets are all closed and the lights are turned off to conserve water and electricity. Number four, the schools, especially the teachers, should implement some policies and rules to provide awareness on how to use the different technologies inside their campuses. What are the challenges that we encounter when we integrate technology in teaching and learning? The challenges that both teachers and learners may have encountered right now are the insufficient resources, lack of teachers that specializes in technology, maintenance and technical problems, and security and privacy problems. In addition, students misusing the technology and them being distracted are part of the challenges as well. Keeping up with the changes in this technology or yet the times can be challenging too. And now, let's go to the exciting part, the second part of my video. 
In this portion, I will be showing you the perspectives of a teacher and a student regarding to the questions that I have shown you a while ago. The interviews that I'm about to show you will include their thoughts about science, technology, and society, and its integration to education. So now, shall we start? In three, two, one, go! So for science, it provides us with different uh, uh, realistic application that can help uh, society and even for students. Uh, for example, such as uh, legends, myths that are incorrect. With science, it can be proven that uh, there are scientific evidences that can help prove or anything that can correct any wrong Paniniwala na ma-update yung society, yung mga bata na there are correct information regarding certain legends or yung tinatawag natin ng mga pamayain that is incorrect. And in education naman, science provide what they call same gap and same sa sinabi ko kanina sa it updates and uh, information and what we call evidences also the uh, improvement of what we call the knowledge of the students regarding different aspects uh, as we all know science is a very broad subject there are different uh, what we call uh, branches of science then by doing that so students can now develop and they can specify what are their different targets or specification that they'd like to focus on. Science and technology plays a vital role in our society, especially in the field of education. It gives us a variety of technology and gadgets that aids us in the learning process such as a television or laptop in a classroom that the teachers use to present lessons in a more appealing and attractive manner. An internet where nowadays showed its great value as this lets us learn, interact, and communicate amidst the distance that is brought by this pandemic. In general, science and technology contributed a lot for the betterment in the learning and education of students. In the education sector, uh, for education, science is also very important for uh, some of the what they call this one advancement of different uh, technology uh, how uh, teaching can be improved with the use of technology with different uh, machines gadgets what they call um, with the use of technology and science uh, teaching is now more interactive uh, some uh, topics before are very difficult to uh, elaborate to our students but nowadays with a innovation brings from technology and science now uh, it can be more uh, elaborated, emphasized or what we call uh, miniaturized uh, detail by detail uh, information uh, that is because of science and technology. As I have observed, there are a number of positive and negative impacts that science and technology bring us, but let me state the most salient point. Let me first start with the pros of it. Science and technology makes students' lives easier, less time-consuming, and flexible. For instance, in our situation today, wherein face-to-face -face learning is not an option as a result of COVID-19, we students still have the opportunity and time to still continue our studies despite the distance and hindrances. Also, science and technology gives us a number of technology and gadgets that aids us in learning such as computers, television, printer, and etc. On the other hand, the cons of it are science and technology oftentimes teaches people, especially students, to be lazy, unproductive, and unfocused. affects in a positive way. Like I said from the first question, Sean, uh, it brings 
us with the enlightenment of information. Uh, most especially, tayo mga Pilipino, marami tayong mga pamahiin. May mga marami tayong mga paniniwala na uh, medyo mahirap ipaliwanag. But with the science, uh, it give us what we call, uh, same as before, enlightenment, uh, information that maybe our paniniwala is wrong. And with science, now it has become a factual information that can provide the evidences that there are some of our, uh, what we call, mga paniniwala or pamahiin is incorrect. Of course, uh, as we all go with the progression and improvement, of course, uh, for the student side, maybe because of technology nowadays, uh, some of the features of uh, the school is not being utilized anymore, such as library, such as what we call uh, uh, information learning center. So those are now being uh, neglected just because of the advancement of technology. Nowadays, any questions that you'd like, you can just ask Mr. Google. And for society, of course, uh, like what I've said before, uh, improvement brings also negative, says, uh, negative effects because of the what we call uh, the waste material, uh, chemicals yes, that is uh, if not properly be disposed or uh, properly be uh, what we call it one um, tamang pag uh, tapon ng mga chemicals that being used in experimentation in science then it becomes very hazardous to individuals. In my perspective, technology affects people and environment more than we imagine. Yes, it has a number of positive and negative impacts, but what balances it all is the way how people use and manipulate technology. subject that uses technology uh, there are many ways to use of course the uh, most important one is uh, let the students manipulate or there is a uh, first option is to introduce certain a certain technology uh, familiarize with them then let them uh, hands-on with the uh, technology that can be used for their uh, application uh, ideally ideally supposed to be it should be one is to one uh, that is the mandate of our uh, the department that I am in, in DepEd but in reality it's because the lack of equipment so it is what we call alternation so the next one you have to return that one because another section will use it so, so ideally it's supposed to be one is to one. So for the familiarization and yung magamay talaga ng isuchante kung paano gamitin ang technology. So so that you can be not be left behind with our uh, any from private school or any countries that are very progressive in using technology. Yes, of course. Science and technology can be a bit challenging and overwhelming for us humans. The best way to utilize science and technology in the aspect of environment, society, and learning lies on the ability and capability of the people to manage the product of science and technology properly and use it in moderation at all times. Uh, the challenges is the what we call um, lack of equipment that students can use. Uh, those, I think those are only, and of course, uh, when you say technology, it involves also the connection to our internet. And in our island, we have the what we call very slow uh, connection of internet. So that is, that, that is only the one. And of course, uh, when we say students also took ability to what we call the time, the what we call the yung panahon na Google niya kasi meron tayo student uh, sujante hindi naman natin mapapakilala yan na meron talaga mga sujante na nagtatrabaho habang nag-aaral so those are beyond our control so those lang uh, yun lang yung
panahon ng bata uh, yung uh, ating capacity sa internet at of course yung uh, lack of equipment natin na magiging one on one ang paggamit sana ng mga bata Some of the technology that I've been using for my studies are my laptop and my phone. And these two gadgets needs an internet connection to keep going. And as we all know, internet connection are oftentimes poor because of different reasons. In addition, we oftentimes hear the phrase, O storage na jud kuay, in our class and that is one of the challenges that we encounter while using technology in learning. Phones and laptops have its storage limits that oftentimes impedes and hinder us from learning. Wow, that's quite a lot to handle, right? But hopefully it gave you enlightenment about the importance, impacts, and uses of science and technology and how these things affect us, people, and the environment. To ensure that you've learned something throughout the whole video, can you provide at least one impact of 